Watch you guys, got another video here for you. As you can see, we've got a Windows 8 system, and uh, someone said, does ransomware affect Windows 8? And the answer to that is yes, it does. It does infect Windows 8 systems. As you can see, we're booting up right now, and uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get a quick flash on the screen, and then it will shut off and go to the actual ransom that you'll see it's gone purple at the moment we get a white screen and you should then get the ransom that pops up this is pretty common now this is running Windows Defender on here and uh, basically it's not blocked it uh, so what we need to do here is we need to reboot into safe mode with networking or safe mode with command prompt one of those two should get you past this now sometimes Windows safe mode with networking uh, blocks you but um, uh, that way you have to use command prompt so what we'll do is reboot the system you need to hold the shift key down the right shift key and keep tapping F8 on the keyboard until you see please wait once you get that you know you're going to get the options so let's do that right now we're going to reboot the system hold this right shift key down and keep bashing the F8 key okay it's pretty tricky some people say it doesn't work it does work and I'll show you how so let's reboot the system here and get into our options menu. So what you want to see is this, please wait. Okay, then you know you've got the actual uh, options coming up. If you don't see this, please wait, then you've not hit it right. And what you'll see is this, recovery, okay. You need to click on see advanced repair options. And then from there you want to hit troubleshoot. And then from there, you want to hit advanced. Now, once you get to this stage, you want to hit startup settings. Click on this, and then you will see enable low res uh, resolution video mode, enable debugging mode, and so on and so on. Okay, this is the one we want. So we're going to click on restart. This will then give you these startup settings. Now we want to select enable safe mode with command prompt do not bother with enable safe mode with networking with this type of ransom because it will restart the system it's designed to do that so we want number six okay just let this load in okay so now we're at our command prompt uh, screen with our pink background very nice and then we need Explorer, like that, push enter, and this will give us our desktop. We can then close that off, and there we have our desktop, okay? Okay, you haven't got the uh, startup menu button here loaded, um, but that's not a problem. Uh, so what we want to do here is, uh, as you can see, we've got some issues here. I'm going to delete that malware folder. And that there so what we can do here now is we can do numerous different things here we can either go to our start menu our metro uh, menu there or we can actually right click down on the bottom right here and go to task manager and once we get that open we can come up to the top here and click run run new task and then we can put in our app data here if we want percentage app data and percentage like so click OK and this will open up our window at the background here which is our app data which is our roaming folder here and you can see these two files these are the culprits that are causing the issue so we're going to delete those okay and once we've deleted those uh, we're going to empty the recycle bin and then we're going to reboot our system we should be pretty much good to go here so all we need to do here now is come to the top right hand corner come down to where it says settings and uh, from there we're going to go power and uh, restart okay so we'll just let windows boot up here now and we should be back up and running in no time at all okay now you can use uh, Kaspersky Rescue CD and stuff like that this is just a manual way okay and remember please use uh, safe mode with command prompt otherwise the uh, safe mobile networking you may get rebooted 
So as you can see, we're back at the desktop and uh, it's imperative that you use Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro to make sure that you're full, fully cleaned, okay? And I think that's going to be about it. It's just a quick and simple uh, video for Windows 8. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, hit that subscribe button, guys, and share support by rating and favoriting all my videos. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. And thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. Bye for now.